Hello friends, my name is Nitish and in this video I am going to talk about GraphQL with Flutter. So what is this GraphQL? If you know that then you can skip to the given time, if you don't then continue. GraphQL is a query language in which you send the query to the server, server execute that query on runtime and it gives you response corresponding to that query. So here you can see the website and understand they have, and they have shown that very clearly. First one is to describe your data. So we just describe the data as a project and the project consists of three things name, tagline, contributors. In second we are asking for the tagline of a particular project whose name is GraphQL. In the second you can see that we got the tagline. So we didn't get the name and contributor. The reason is that we didn't ask. So this happens in the API and this was solved by this GraphQL. That's why we use this GraphQL. So this solved the problem of over and under fetching. So here are the server library. Uh, which can be used to implement the GraphQL on the server and there are some client libraries so we will use the client libraries in the Flutter application so if you will go down in the website you can see the client library also but in the client library Flutter is not mentioned because the Flutter client library had been developed very soon and they have not mentioned that yet but I have sent a pull request to the GraphQL website and they might add it soon if they find that this library is perfect or this library is, looks good. So let's come to this uh, GraphQL part. So how actually GraphQL works. So in the GraphQL we just need to write the query and after that we will execute that query and we will get the response. Here you can see that we are asking for the continent name. We got the continent name. So let's ask for the country which is inside that continent. and. Uh, let's execute this and if you got that then we will think that this works perfectly yeah this works perfectly so we are having the africa and the african country and if you will go down we will get asia and asian country and this is how it works so we are just asking for the country name we are getting the name only so this is how actually it works so if you want to print the code of continent we can print that also so here you can see the code of the continent so i am looking for the continent code of asia which is as so now i want only one continent information that is asia so i will just write the code of the asia which is as and execute so now i will not get the other continent information like africa so here you can see that now I am having the one continent information that is Asia and the country which is inside the Asia. So this is how GraphQL works. So now suppose that if I want some more information about the country. So inside the country I will just tell the information which I want. So you can see that we are getting this drop down. Uh, let me try something. No, actually this doesn't work. I was just testing something. So suppose we are getting the drop down. The reason is that we are getting drop down because we have defined the data in the server side and according to that we get the drop down. So we need not to worry about this information. What are the stored inside the country or continent? You will get the drop down from that. You can understand that what are the data which you can get from the server. So let's try to get the information of a particular country and we just need to specify the country code which is a IN for the India and let's try to get that. So we are getting one error. Uh, yeah, I will tell you why we are getting that error. So we are getting two errors uh, for the so let's uh, pick the first one and put the all the error line one after each other so we are trying to get our object and we cannot do that we need to ask for the property we cannot ask for the object so we are asking for the object of continent that's why we are getting the error so now i am being a little more specific i am only asking the continent name so now we will not get any error so now if i will try to get the language and yeah you can see that now we got the language name so we got the exact information which we have asked this is not that there is no more information stored in the server or that's why we are not getting if we'll try to get some more information we will definitely get that information also and for this we have not wrote lots of code in the server we have just described our data 
and based on our query it takes the data and it send us to the back, send the data back so we are just going to use this library in our flutter application and we will write the query and we will get the exact data which we have asked so let's uh, take the dependency and uh, we will just put the dependency in our flutter application so let's start from the very beginning we will create a project let's wait yeah so we have created the project so first let's test that we are on which channel so flutter is having different channel like beta dev master stable so currently i am on stable channel so let's try to add the dependency i had checked the channel because of some reason i will tell you later so let's add the so remember one thing just add the version of dependency also don't skip the version number so we got some error the reason is that the flutter graphql version greater than one ask for some sdk which is greater than 2.2 which we are not having currently so in the error field you can see that currently we are having 2.12 to confirm that or check that manually you can just write flutter minus minus version and you can see that we are having currently dot 2.1 2.12 yeah 2.12 so we need to fulfill this requirement which is 2.2 and to do that so we will just do one thing we will just change it to the dev because on the dev server uh, they are currently using dot 2.3 so actually i can uh, do this tutorial with the older version also but older version is having a uh, very much change and i don't want to just uh, use the old code and make you confuse in the future that uh, graphql is changing the syntax very frequently so now i think that they are not going to change the syntax of this plugin and now anymore so i think the syntax are very much stable now that's why i am moving to this channel so let's move to the dev channel and so now we have changed the channel so let's test the channel that we are on the current channel or not so for that we will just write flutter channel and it will just start the downloading one thing that is dot sdk tool which is not being downloaded while changing the channel so it is being changed it is being downloaded so let's sit back and relax because it will take some time depends upon your internet speed i had just fast forward a little bit because i was having a little bit good internet speed but then also i just don't want to consume your important time uh, so let's wait for some more time and waiting waiting So you can see that now we are on the dev channel so we had did two things so let's see that so let's first check that uh, channel so we have changed the channel so currently we are on the channel dev so first one is fine and uh, we have changed the dot sdk version which is the tool for the flutter so you can see that dot uh, sdk version is 2.3 so now the flutter is dependent on dot 2.3 so now we can uh, work with this graphql because it requires 2.2 or higher so let's try to getting the dependency and if we got the exit code 0 it means that there is no error we got the dependency the exit code 0 is a sign of success so we got the exit code 0 so this process was success and just to confirm that we have did everything clearly uh, we haven't did any mistake while getting the dependency i will just import the package so just come to the website and copy the imports so let's paste it here and uh, we are not getting an error so now we are done at this step thanks for watching see you in the next video